can you trust Liz Truss? 0344 499 1000. Anyone can change their position. There's nothing wrong with changing your position. In fact, I think you could sensibly argue that it's those who never change their position that we should be cautious of. Imagine never re-evaluating your opinions, never moving your stance to accommodate changing times, not once thinking that your view or part of your ideology might be out of date. So we get it. Not only is it OK to modify your core beliefs, in some respects it's arguably preferable. It's not hypocrisy or contradiction. It's simply updating where you stand. Simultaneously, I think you could probably argue there's a bit of a limit on this. If you go from being a Marxist on Monday to an arch-capitalist by Wednesday, then we'd be right to ask some questions. Unless, of course, it's from your old student days, as it were. Everybody's entitled to move on and get real from those days. Didn't Was it Michael Portillo or someone like that? The arch-Thatcherite and former right-wing hardman that used to sell the Morning Star back in the day. Uh, most of us had different views in our teens. Liz Truss, however, has changed big time. The fact that she was a... And this is interesting. The, the fact she was a Liberal Democrat for much of her early years should not actually be held against her. Her upbringing in a left-wing household where CND magnets for the fridge were order of the day. They're not reasons to distrust her politics today. But it's not about then versus now. The question here isn't a comparison and contrast from her late teens to where she's at to this very day. It's a comparison to where she was at about six months ago, where she's at now. You've heard the muse, mood music around Liz Truss. So there was Rwanda. I just mentioned that with, uh, with Kevin O'Sullivan. Kev, not unreasonably, <laughs> raised the point that Liz Truss is going to be really strict. I'll send more migrants to Rwanda. This is kind of against, really, her core beliefs in that system. But she's going to send more, and as Kev said, not hard to do, since this country has sent no migrants to Rwanda. She's going to get really tough on Rwanda. If you come to this country on a boat, you're going to Rwanda, sucker. You are straight there. There's no turning back. You'll be straight off the boat and onto a plane. Liz Truss is sending you to Rwanda. And we know about the wider issue of immigration. We know about Brexit as well. And again, there's... I really admire politicians who were Remainers and then decided, actually, do you know what? I, the Democratic vote is to leave, so now I'm going to sing from the hymn sheet about the merits of Brexit. And I'm going to do all we can to make Brexit work. That should be the position of everyone. What, what is the alternative to not make it work? I mean, that would be a, a daft, stupid position to take. But... She's kind of now to the right of Nigel Farage when it comes to her position on Brexit. Even fox hunting. I mean, she's not going to bring it back, but she's pro-field sports. Really? Liz Truss is pro-field sports? I'm not really believing that. She's also vowed to, to call a halt on taxes at deterring families from buying junk food. Because that sits in another kind of nanny state telling us what to do. We know our kids are fat, but that's absolutely fine because we it's us, our decision to do that. And there's obviously there was all the talk of having a get rid of the buy one, get one free thing. She's having none of that. She's stepping in. That tax is going where the migrants are going. Send that tax to Rwanda as well. Get get over there, tax, with your junk food ideas. She's having none of that. And then of course we read. And learned this week, oh, and she hates Nicola Sturgeon as well. She passionately hates. Nicola Sturgeon is best ignored, she said. So this is one leader talking about another leader. Best to ignore them. A leader that you might have no uh, agreement in any shape or form with, but her, her prime ministerial word is that it's best to just ignore Nicola Sturgeon. I don't think I've ever really heard a politician say anything quite so stupid in, in diplomatic terms. Just ignore her. Yeah, big cheers from the crowd. Thump chest, bang desk. Fantastic. Brilliant. Here's an idea. Let's send Nicola Sturgeon to Rwanda. Yes, she can join the migrants. She can join the 
fat taxis. She can go all the way off to enjoy some fox hunting while you're there as well. Brilliant. And then, of course, what else can we go for? Got the mic, done the migrants, done the Scottish, hate all these people, hate the junk food staff, hate all of that. Who else can we hate? Oh, I got to get here's, here's another one. Civil servants. Civil servants. The scourge. The dirty, filthy civil servants. You trouser-pocketing bunch of no-mark, useless, idle, taxpayer-draining dodgepots. The civil service! Get in the bin, says Liz Truss. We don't want your stinky, tax-rinsing ways round here. We'll get rid of loads of you. In fact, the ones we don't get rid of will just reduce their wages. Fantastic idea she came up with. Isn't that brilliant? This was the big weekend headline. I'm Oh, and diversity managers as well. Get rid of the diversity managers. Don't want any diversity managers. I mean, she might be right on that, but you take my point. Send them to Rwanda. That's a good idea. They can go with all the other... It's got a very, very busy set of flights going out to Rwanda. We've got the junk food tax on there. We've got the immigrants themselves. Nicola Sturgeon's going. The civil servants are going. They're all going to flip in Rwanda because we hate everybody in Team Liz Truss. And then, of course, at the weekend, she made this big announcement. This was big. A war on Whitehall waste. Blah. That's what we're going to do. Paying civil servants outside London less than their colleagues in the capital. Her new civil service reform drive also includes slashing the number of diversity jobs, lowering average holiday allowances, curbing taxpayer money going to trade union work. God, she's well hard, isn't she? She's well hard, our Liz. Thatcher would be envious over this kind of stuff. And then all hell broke loose because the Conservative Party realised, hang on a second... You do know, Liz, what, what a, you know, civil servants are like teachers and nurses and police officers and doctors. And outside of London, what, is that the, the same outside of London where you're trying to level up the government that promised a lot of levelling up? And I think it was, I think Ben Houchin was probably the cap catalyst for this. And now, Ben, if you don't know who Ben is, he's a vo very well-respected mayor of Teesside. And he's a conservative. He is a through and through conservative. And on hearing Liz Truss's pledge to have a war on Whitehall, he actually wrote this. He wrote, actually speechless. There is simply no way you can do this without a massive pay cut for 5.5 million people, including pl nurses, police officers and our armed forces outside London. So much that we've worked for in places like Teesside would be undone. There were red faces across Team Trust. They realised they'd properly, to coin a phrase, balls this one up in a big way. Stop the plane. Bring back the Whitehall pledge. We're not sending that now to Rwanda. That's, that can stay here. OK, so she's done a U-turn on this. So, yes, all the, the fat taxes can go, Sturgeon can go, the immigrants can go, uh, fox hunting, well, you know, we're not going to bring it back, but I quite like it, even though I don't really, and I've fought against it any other day of the week. And civil servants, you're now safe. I present to you our next Prime Minister, everybody, Liz Truss, the Right Honourable. There she is. This, of course, isn't really Liz Truss. This is just daft playing to the gallery. It's the kind of, what would you call the sort of very opposite? Well, it's a virtue signalling kind of exercise, isn't it, really? But a different kind of virtue. This is what I want to do. I'm asking the question here. Do you actually trust Liz Truss? It looks like it's a shoe in for Truss, although, as Kev was saying earlier, the polls, when asked about overall, she comes out rather well in most areas, but overall... It's looking slightly closer than I think Team Trust thought it would do at this stage. And there's still weeks to go. So let's focus on her specifically. She's coming out with such a raft of policies. From the fat tax to the Rwandan policy to Nicola Sturgeon to field sports. Goodness me. The list goes on. You would think you'd be forgiven for thinking she was the most ardent arch right winger that the Conservative Party has ever had. In fact, she could not be more in the other part of the spectrum and a Remainer to boot. 
So you take the... Based on all of this, do you trust Liz Truss? 0344 499 1000. We'll open up the line...